Hello and top of the time zone to you. This is Freddie J here with Freddie J Sports. Live doing the Q School Final at TPC Boston. We're in our final round. As we're heading to try to see if we can get our Corn Ferry Tour card here at the championship. We're currently three under after a terrible breakdown at the back nine at TPC Boston. We're hoping to change that today. As now we've uh, changed controllers. Changed our setup a little bit. And let's go ahead and get started. It's all going to come down to this. The top 50 will get their tour card, but I'm looking to win this one, honestly. I'm going to start off this season in style. Looking forward to getting all this done. And now we're at the tee in that legendary purple. 355 yards on this tee shot. Winds picking up. Haven't seen this much wind. Solid contact to start it off. This one's going to go over that bunker. Three hundred and twenty-four yards. Way to start it off. Going with the flop here. A little bit off, but that should be fine. Whoa. Maybe a little bit off target, but this is ten feet. Not a lot of movement. That one's... Oh, it got in. What a great way to start off. Four under, and there's that fist pump. That's a great start. That was a little scary right there. It was treading a little bit to the right. Meanwhile, Elliot Strauss... A whopping eight strokes ahead. Freddie has a lot of ground to make up right now. The... Three bogeys on that back nine really hurt us. So now we got to make up for it here. Out of anything, I'd rather hit the rough than a bunker because that's going to really mess us up. And we might get what we asked for. But it might stay on the fairway here. If it stays on, we're looking good. 293, we're still on the fairway. All right, this one. We've been doing the right thing and laying up here. We're going to continue to do that. We don't need to... Although we're behind, we don't need to play risk it. I'd rather have a clear shot for at least a birdie more than anything. Solid shot right there. All right, now let's look and see what we're what we're dealing with here. Going with the pitching wedge. Going to flop it. Yeah, this is going to be an ugly lie, that's for sure. That one's a bit fast. This one might... That might help us out. This is really close. What a move right there. And that is a bur... Well, this is a tough turn right here, but that's still a birdie shot. Five foot. Oh, it went by the hole. Overkilt it. And... Honestly, that's that was a valid valid mistake. That that's a mistake because you know all week we've been dealing with these tough turns. The first time that we, one of the first few times where we were on the green, and we were actually able to putt instead of chip. Yeah, that can happen. We're still four on under for the tournament. Still eight strokes back. 
No one else has teed off yet. Here we are at the third. Scoring for it with a three iron. I'm going to put it right. That's a perfect swing. That's still trailing to the right side. Couldn't get it done. Wind overpowered the draw. Look at this. What a shot! Great recovery right there. Even though we don't get the birdie, that was a great shot. To make it a tap in because those tap ins will help but we need birdies right now we threw three could put 15 birdies on the board and right, this time we're doing something different we're gonna play with the wind this is gonna be a, a shot to remember This one may crash hard. Yep. Tell you what. That was a legitimate shot right there. Let's see if we can creep. That's going to be a great look for Birdie. Start it off right. There we go. Another birdie on the scorecard. And the rest of the leaders are waking up. Seven strokes away now. Here we are at the fifth. Not really do it to do it. That was a big hook. Let's see if this stays in play. And what I mean in play, I mean in on a on fairway because uh, we need the clean grass right now. It's on, but uh, this shot right here, not so much. Let's see what we can do here. Trailing a lot to the right. Need to fix that swing path. And that backspin. Oh, man. That backspin's going to hurt us. That's a long putt for birdie now. That is not what we need. And this is costly. I'm going to aim for you, orange. Orange shirt. 67 feet. Chat, this is going to be the longest putt. I don't think it's going to break anymore. All it's turning. It was a good effort. Nine feet to the pin. That was scary at the end. But we saved par. Luckily after this, we don't have to play this course anymore for a while. Still seven behind. Solid shot there. Still treading a little bit to the right, but we should be fine. Safely on the fairway for 300 and more. How's 308? All right, based on the whole location, I'm putting this right here. In fact, I'm going to do a little bit of counteraction. 
wasn't really concerned about the fastball, but this one's going in the water. That may have hurt the confidence a little bit. This is going to be our first bogey if he can't get this one down. Oh, no. That was a terrible miss hit. That was a bad mistake right there. And that's just going to erase both of our birdies that we had. And we're going to go back to even par through six. Not a good move right there. He was doing so confident with the stroke and then just a random fast just ruined it. Luckily, we have a par five where we can make up for it. But this one's going to the right, and I don't think this is going to get back on the fairway. It's going to try, though. Nope, it's going to run parallel, deep in the rough. This one, we may have to lay up. But I don't think he's going to... No. Going to have to lay up here. These fast swings are not helping us. Get back in contention. Third shot. Yeah, we we're losing our stroke here. Now the question is, did did that break us? No, good recovery. But we needed a we needed a birdie here, and we're not gonna get it. At least we finished with par. Had a great start for the first five holes, but then we just lost it. Here we are at the eighth, a par three. We want to play it safe here. Well, given that we've been hitting it fast the last two. I think now's the time we're going to get it perfect. So we're not. We're going to. We're going to risk it with the three iron. Bold move. And he called it. Got a perfect. However. It's flirting on with the right side. Yeah, the wind was not a factor at all. That one's going to skirt way too far. This is for par. 13 feet. This is not a comfortable... Oh, no! To leave it short like that is a nightmare. Unbelievable. 10 back now really not doing any favors getting a bogey now we're playing aggressive and we just need to slow down a little bit pressure is on simply because we have goofed up on just two holes but it erased all of our momentum There's another fast, and that these fastballs are really hurting us. We just need to settle down and just figure something out. So that way we're not messing up our chances. This is 33 feet for birdie. But with the way we've been playing, we'll, we'll see how this goes. This one's looking good. 
That's as close as we're going to get from that distance. All right. Ten strokes back from the lead. Elliot's through five. So we head on to the back nine now. Wind's picking up a little bit. That's still fast. And going with the win, that's going to be in the rough. Not taking any chances right now. Going with a 9-iron. That's a perfect, but that's going right. But the wind's going left. And it's still going to be far away from the hole. This is for birdie. Thirty six feet. That's hunting real good. Oh, it got in. That's a big highlight right there. That is what we needed. We're going to get a replay here. This was huge. This was a huge momentum turner right here. This putt was 36 feet out. We haven't made a lot of 30-foot putts in our career, but this one right here might have been a big one. We're back on an even par, but that might have changed the tides tremendously. All right, here we are at the 11th. This is a par three. Wind is a factor. It's increasing a bit. That's still fast. Luckily, this one should land right around the hole, but let's see if it's... Yeah, that's not turning back. Honestly, it's a safe fall. You don't want to risk it. But this is another 32-foot putt. Nice line. Good read. We'll take the par. One thing we got to do is just make sure that whatever clubs we have, we make sure that we're able to just have it stop. Now, here we are at the 12th. There we go. A good tempo to work with. Three fifteen, right there. Second shot. We're gonna go for it with the with the the six iron. Hopefully, it'll creep. Actually, better yet. The one time we get a slow. I, I knew it. As soon as we turned it right, it was like, oh, you, we, uh, we're going right? All right, say less. Didn't get all of it. That's going to be a long putt with a little bit of turn. This is for par. At this point, we're running out of time in fact i believe we are out of time we needed a birdie and that is not going to help us leaving it short i think we just ruined all of our chances of a comeback with that one another bogey ruining it
The only thing that could hurt, that could save us now is if the team just, like, the leaders just sabotage their scores. And once again, another fast one. It, it's like we've learned nothing. I feel like every time our inconsistent swings are really causing us uh, a lot of damage here. This one might have a chance, but a lot of wind picked up right there. This one... It's still moving, but I'm not liking the looks of how. It was just too slow, and now it's a 20-foot putt. We'll see if we can do something out of it. Leaving it short is not going to help you. Yeah, the lead is gone. As long as you keep your top 50, you'll be fine. But right now, we might even not make it to the top 10. A solid swing that time. I don't want to fast, and it ruins everything we built. Going with a five iron. We did not play that well. We'll be fortunate enough it stays on. Well, missed it by a hair. That's unfortunate. Looks like we're going to be stuck at even par, or at worst, one over. Like, if you could look at our scores, we've gradually gotten worse each time. It sounded nice, but uh, not the right speed we want. And this one's going to be flirting with a rough. Got a good bounce back, but. That's not going to help. Well, it's still all right, but. That's gonna bet that's gonna be the best we're gonna do right there. Even par for the day. With three holes left. Let's look at the leaderboard. Yeah, Elliot Strauss is gonna win this thing unless he throws. We'll see if we can make it into the top ten. this hole right here I'm gonna attack the pin on this one I say attack the pin this goes in the wrong direction like obnoxiously wrong Somehow that's very fast, and oh yeah, this next putt's going to be ugly. And it's going to be for par. you love to see it. 17 feet. Looks can be deceiving. 
At least it's not going to be short. But the break didn't even matter. Oh my goodness. We have two holes left that make something out of ourselves. And that's a fast one. Got big yardage out of it. 320. Oh, that trailed. Barely got on the green. I like this look here. 13 feet. There we go. We got a birdie. Back to even par. With a par 5 left. This is our last shot to make something good happen. You wanted to come up and win this, make a comeback, but we just haven't been able to. Our second shot here. Might as well attack it. Hmm. Bass right there. Let's see how it plays. You might get a good roll. And it took the flat part of it. But at least for the first time, we're going to be looking at a putting for Eagle. This will be huge. 16 feet. Going left or right right now. Man, that was very fast. All right, to go four under to finish the round, the tournament. Wow! What a disgusting round. Ruined everything. Didn't even make a mark. But it's finally over. We finished 11th. Not what we were hoping for at all. Very disappointed, but... Uh, that's what happens when you're not uh, locked in or focused and... Just a lot of the inconsistent swinging out there. Uh, the greens. I mean, we weren't putting well. Putting was a big factor as well. Uh, our approaches, our drives, literally everything went right and then went wrong. So we need to look more on doing more of the right things. Getting the tempo, getting the approaches calculating the win making all that right and then going and doing better from there so elliot strauss will win that one congratulations i get some more stuff to put in my bag and uh they call me jay here that's kind of cringe but we ended the season on a high note having earned a promotion I'm ecstatic with this result. I did not say that. Y'all know I didn't say that. So now, coming up next, 
We're going to the Corn Ferry Tour. Climbing the ranks. And getting the banks. We got to win three events in the single season to instantly advance to the PGA Tour. Another objective is to finish the season in the top 25 points rankings to advance to the PGA Tour. And finish the season in the top 75 points rankings. So that's all coming up next on this channel on Freddy J Sports. If y'all like this kind of content, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what's your thoughts about the whole entire series. And as always, I appreciate y'all for coming out. This is Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time.